This question wants us to compare the delta G that we've calculated from question 62 to uh, the ones we can obtain from the equation that relates to delta G, delta H, and delta H together at 25 degrees Celsius. So we know that uh, delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta H. And uh, we are looking for delta G in this case. So therefore, we calculated uh, delta G, we calculated delta H to be equals to um, 64.6 kilojoules. And then minus temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, and that will be 298.15 Kelvin multiplied by delta H is minus 120 minus 12.7 joules per kelvin so we need to convert this to kilojoules because the delta h is in kilojoule so multiply by minus 12.7 kilojoules divided by 1000 k so this should be six form Four point six minus two eight point four five times minus two point seven divided by one thousand. So this would be um let's see sixty eight point four. The sixty-eight point four kilojoules, and this is more reliable to uh, relate delta G with uh, temperature because we can see the temperature time here. The next one is to do the same thing for the second calculation of problem sixty-two. So here, how uh, delta G? Write that in blue. Uh, delta G would then be equals to delta H minus T delta H again. And then uh, our delta H is uh, 187.2 kilojoules minus T is 298.15 Kelvin multiplied by delta H, which is 16.4. Uh, but when we divide by 1,000 to convert to kilojoules, and this will be kilojoules per Kelvin. And then our answer would be um, 187.2 minus 298.15 times 16.4 divided by 1,000. So this will give us um, sorry, less than one eighty seven point two minus two ninety eight point one five times this is minus sixteen point four. This is minus sixteen point four. Minus sixteen point four divided by one thousand. So this will give us a one ninety two point zero kilojoule point zero eight kilojoules. And then the next one we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, we say delta G. Delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. And delta H here is uh, 182.6 kilojoules minus T is 298.15. It's 25 degrees Celsius multiplied by delta H is uh, 24.8. And this is in joules per Kelvin, so convert to kilojoule by dividing by 1000. 
this is in Kelvin. So this will be 182.6 minus 298.15 multiplied by 24.6 divided by 1000. This will give us um, 175. Point two seven kilojoules. So this is the delta G at twenty five degrees Celsius. Okay, so when we compare that to the value we calculated here, they are almost the same thing. So the last one we calculate delta G again. The delta G. Delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta H and delta H we calculated here to be minus 77.6 kilojoule minus temperature is 298 Kelvin 298.15 Kelvin multiplied by delta H which is uh, 494.6 and this is in joule, so convert to kilojoule by dividing by 1000. And this should give us what? And this is minus 77.6 minus 298.15 times 494.6 divided by 1000. So this will be minus two to five point uh, zero six uh, kilojoules. So if we compare to the delta G we have uh, here, they are almost the same thing.